Mohamed Sandang says he wants justice for his father. This is the Gambia's opposition leader, Solo Sandang, here in the white shirt being arrested in April 2016 for challenging Yaya Jame's 22-year-long rule. This was the last time he was seen alive, shortly after the country's intelligence forces are alleged to have tortured him to death before dumping his body in an unmarked grave. Sandang's relatives were among the 400 Gambians who testified at the Truth, Reconciliation and Reparation Commission, also known as the TRRC set up in 2018 by President Adam Abero. Victims faced defendants charged with carrying out abuses against them, describing in gruesome detail acts of rape, torture and sexual abuse, they say, were carried out by Jame and his security forces. Jame fed opponents to his pet crocodiles and claimed to cure HIV and AIDS and experimented his claimed cures on sick and dying people. We're not really as hopeful as we, would, we were in 2016 when this whole transnational justice thing was set up. Um, the reasons for that um, is um, basically the lack of political will. Very famous report is finally out. <laughs> so. <laughs> The TRRC has recommended President Barrow prosecute all those known to have committed crimes. A number of them are in his government and hold senior positions in the security forces. You know, that's what we fought for. We wanted democracy. Democracy is not easy. It's not easy to manage democracy. That's why there is a lot of noise when you talk about democracy. I think it's easy with dictatorship. You sit in the state house, you control everything, you regulate everybody, you direct everybody from the state house. Barrow is running for re-election and has sought alliances with Jame's political party. Human rights lawyers fear this will delay a process to get Jame on trial for his crimes. Gambians had for far too long suffered under a repressive regime, a regime that failed its social contract with the citizens and in doing so oppressed the very people it swore to serve and uh, protect. On December 4th, Gambians will go to the polls to choose their next president. Whoever wins will have the difficult task to implement the Truth, Reconciliation and Reparation Commission's recommendations so that Gambians can move forward and have a sense of justice. Nicholas Hawk, Al Jazeera, Dakar.